Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another Minecraft video. Hope everybody's having a great day, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an awesome tool for set seed speed runs. All right, so if you're practicing or you're just looking for seeds to do for a set speed, set seed speed run, uh, this tool is awesome. All right, it's called Seed Searcher Standalone Tool and it's by Zodsmar. I'll leave a link in the description for it. Uh, but it's on here on github and you'll want to go to the releases here and then choose the newest one and download it so just go down to assets and choose the one for your platform you can either get an exe for windows or a jar file you'll need a system java installed to run it as a java app uh, that's up to you all right so once you've downloaded it to your disk let me show you what this guy does it's really awesome so it'll be called this sasa and then the version number i have a uh, 0.61 so just launch that on your system um, and you may need to let it through Windows Defender and all that kind of stuff. I don't really remember, but basically it's a tool that allows you to set parameters for seeds uh, that will give you an ideal starting conditions and then give you a list of seeds. And of course it varies depending on the speed of your computer, how fast it'll do it and all that kind of stuff. So let's first go to the data tab here. And an important thing, depending upon your system, is to set the number of cores or threads to use. I, I have 20 threads on this machine, so I'm going to set it to 12. Set it to just some multiple just below the number of cores on your system, but as many as you can afford because it'll speed up the process a lot. All right. Then you want to select the Minecraft version that you want. So we're going to do 1.16.1, which is the uh, speed running version right now for uh, 1.16. And then you want to set the search radius, all right? So we're going to set a kind of small search radius, 128 blocks, all right, around us. Now that'll make it, each time you make it smaller, it'll make it take a little bit longer, but the things that, the, uh, things that you choose will be closer in the cluster, all right, which is good for speed running, of course. And then don't worry about uh, number of seeds to find however many you want. Uh, the incrementer, I guess, is how much that the radius will go and then the precision and all that kind of stuff you may want to read about some of this stuff to uh, learn a little bit more about it but basically now we go through and select the biomes that we're looking for so let's say that i want an ocean in the beginning i want a plains okay um, and then i also want to look at some of the nether stuff which you could set which is really really cool so just scroll down a little bit and we'll choose uh crimson forest for instance and we'll choose uh pretty much that'll do it for this all right so we're basically wanting to be sure there's a crimson forest and, and some plains and an ocean near us okay uh for travel to the end portal and stuff and oceans helpful now you can also set biome sets here uh, which is good because it will give you a more likely that you'll spawn in that plains type area so let's choose planes as the biome set and then that'll give biomes that are related to it all around it the small little forest and all that kind of stuff and you're more likely to be into a cluster all right all right so now we can set the structures that we want to see all right so uh, we want a bastion remnant here so let's do that and this will be near spawn within 128 uh, then we want a, a ruined nether portal overworld here and we want a fortress near us as well okay and of course that's on the nether side but still within our spawn chunks and a village all right so it'll go through and choose all of these to select seeds for us guys that is awesome to do so all right so to generate it you just hit the start button here and depending on the speed of your machine it'll go through and it'll search for seeds all right so now it gives us a list of seeds here that we can choose now you could just copy a seed from the list here uh, and use it just copy or you could choose to save the output all right so if i choose save output it's going to make this sasa underscore output dot text and put it in the same folder as the app so if i go into here then that folder that uh output is right here and it's just a text file you can also choose a location that you want to put it uh, right here all right so just browse for your location that you want but here's a list of seeds that we can try uh, to get a speed run from get an ideal condition for a set speed speed run guys this is you know it would be cheating if you 
did it in a regular speed run, but this is for set seed stuff and for practice, all right? So uh, get your 116.1 and whatever launcher that you want. I'm using Multi-MC um, and install a new profile for that and then launch it, configure it, you know, however you want, all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, borderless full screen here. I can get out of my way window. Uh, yeah, let's go to borderless full screen. And bam, bam. Okay, and let's enter the seed that we got. All right, so I'm gonna delete this world here and I'll just do creative to start. New world's fine, more world options. Paste in that seed, all right, right here. So we'll create the world from it. Hopefully we'll end up in a plains near a village with a rune, rune nether portal, all that kind of stuff. And it gives you 10 seeds to try. So if it's not exactly what you want, in the beginning, like this one actually put us at the Taiga Edge, but here's the plains over here. Uh, there's the village back over there. So, you know, not perfect. You're going to have to run a little bit to get to it, but not horrible either. But let's uh, use locate and find the rune portal. See where it's at. It tells us it's 185 blocks away, so pretty close within our location. So you can go to it. It's right at the village right here, so pretty darn decent. Um, the oceans near us here, uh, you know, if you could figure out where the end portal is and stuff like that, based on the ocean, that might be helpful. Let's uh, actually just uh, go ahead and go into the nether uh, and see that it's got our structures that we chose here. Let me get a flint steel, check that out. Okay, and I'll just finish this portal here. Okay. All right, so kind of in a cave, not totally ideal, but let's see what was there. There's the Crimson Forest. Uh, let's locate a fortress. All right, so 800. So it didn't hit very well on that one. It's 801 blocks away. E each seed will be a little different. It'll do its best to uh, determine it. Uh, Bastion Remnant is within 122, okay. So, you know, we can determine those types of uh, settings to see, you know, what seeds work best for us, but it eliminates so much trial and error. So let's go to the second seed here. I'm not going to do all of them, but we'll just go through a few, a couple, I suppose, and see uh, what we get from it. So, all right, let's enter a new world from that. More world options uh, and paste that seed and then generate it see if it gets a better uh closer fortress and that kind of stuff so here we go all right yeah that's nice there's a plains village right at spawn okay uh, again i'll use locate uh, root portal into portal okay that's with the 98 blocks Let's go ahead and go to it okay that is right it underground or might be underwater all right it's here somewhere apparently uh, let's look at the coordinates again yeah it must be underground that's fine Let's just make a, uh, so again, not perfectly ideal for what we want, but let's just go ahead and make a portal and see what it does on the other side for us. Uh, portal real quick. Get out of my way, your ass. Okay, so there's our forest. There's the fortress. Okay, let's see where the bastion is. Okay, bastion remnant. Okay, so it's 61 blocks away. So perfect. We got our fortress and we got our bastion remnant together. All right, so again, a better seed. 
on that one uh, the rune portals in a little bit of a weird place but generally pretty good but guys you could see how that would save you a lot of time in searching for seeds to uh, speed run again in a set seed stuff you'd be able to get a lot of stuff done here um you know to uh just ease that and and get into the practice modes better and maybe find the ultimate speed running seed you know that's kind of one of the goals is to find really good set seeds uh, that people can work with and you can work with and you might become famous you never know anyways it's got Omato. thanks so much for watching guys hope that was helpful to you i know it is super helpful so go ahead and leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel we had an interman running around like to get that guy but uh thanks so much we'll see you in the next one have a great day Bye bye